bunch of stuff you never meet, yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a kind of combined sale haul and sale roundup video. There are a ton of sales and discount codes happening right now, so I thought I would round them up as I go along, also sharing with you what I got from the sales because I did shop pretty much all of them. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first up is Abercrombie and I do have a discount code with them. So this is for 20% off your entire order. This one is live until Monday, I think, and it's available in the UK, the US, I think Europe, and I think one or two other places as well. So I will put the full list in the description section. They have so many beautiful new pieces though. So first up, I got this gorgeous, gorgeous black dress. Very, very loose and flowy. Um, so this one does have these really thin spaghetti straps, which I absolutely love love they are adjustable as well and then you have this straight neckline so great if you wanted to wear it with a long pendant necklace it is a tiered one and it is fully lined as well so it's very very nice quality the fabric is really lovely as well it feels like it has almost like a little bit of silkiness to it but it's not like a proper silky one it's kind of a strange feel um but it's really really lovely i don't think it's going to crease too badly either so perfect for really sticky days and I just thought this was the cutest, cutest thing. Really just light and flowy, so easy breezy and just absolutely adorable either by itself or under a jacket, whether it's like a biker jacket or a denim jacket. I think it would go with pretty much everything. I did size up in pretty much all of my Abercrombie pieces, but I will put my regular sizes in the description section for reference. I basically wanted these to last me until the end of summer, so I wanted to size up so that there was room to grow, um, but I will put my normal size because I do think these all run true to size in the description section. Next up is another loose and flowy one. I actually got this in two colors and I'm trying to decide now which color to keep. I don't want to keep both of them. I'm leaning more towards the purple one um, or the kind of bluey one, but let me know your thoughts down below which one you think looks better. Um, but it is a really, really beautiful dress. Just very light and airy. Um, I say it's light and airy. It does have that kind of flowy element, but the fabric is actually quite substantial. So you do get quite a lot of your money. It's another straight neckline and then you do have an elasticated back and again with those really slim spaghetti straps which are fully adjustable I love these spaghetti straps because even when the body's a little bit wider I feel like these help make it just so much more elegant and refined and I just love them really really cute this one has an asymmetrical tier so you have three tiers in total but they have a kind of slanted um tier effect if that makes any sense hopefully you'll be able to gather what I mean from the try on shots I am super happy with this. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think I should keep the white one or the blue one? Again, I think I'm leaning towards the blue one, but I do like a good crisp white dress as well. I don't feel like I have many in my wardrobe. So let me know your thoughts down below. Next up is this black cutout dress. And I think this is probably my favorite out of everything that I got from Abercrombie. As soon as I tried it on, I just fell in love. I think it's so beautiful. So this one has these really cool cutout details just under the bust. It is elasticated, so you do have a little bit of stretch there. And then you have these uh, kind of flat spaghetti straps, again, fully adjustable. And then the back is a little bit elasticated as well. Not a huge amount, just enough to get a really nice close fit. And then apart from the cutout details, it's just kind of a nice loose and flowy dress. Um, so it flares down and then you do have this one single tear at the bottom. So you get a little bit more volume towards the bottom than you do at the top. So I do think it's quite flattering because you don't have like bunches and bunches of volume. And then you have these two pockets, always just such a plus point for me. And I love this. I think this comes in a few different colors. Um, I went for the black as per usual, but I thought this would look beautiful dressed up with some jewelry. You know, I think great with a pendant necklace or again, some earrings. And I love how it fits, how it flows. The fabric is really lovely and flowy. So it has some really beautiful movement. And I pretty much just want to live in this dress. Just so gorgeous, really great for a variety of occasions as well, I think. And I am just super, super happy with it. 
And now for a slightly more, I guess it's kind of tropical themed, um, but it has this really beautiful olive green floral print, which is not a sentence I say often because I feel like floral prints don't often come in olive green. But for some reason, I actually feel like it really works. It has this kind of botanical feel, which is very, very nice. It's on a really crisp white background. And then it is a, it's a midi length, but it's like so long that it's almost maxi. So it is definitely a long one. This one might come in different heights, I'm not sure sure um, I just got the regular one if it did it is a lined one um, but the lining is only up to I guess kind of just above your knees um, so you don't have like loads of fabric all the way throughout you have this great side slit as well and the fabric is almost like a crepe material so it has lines running all the way down it's not a pinstripe or anything I'll try and show the texture so you know what I mean um, but it does have that kind of crepe like feel really really nice fully adjustable straps that has a sweetheart neckline and then you do have a little bit of ruching in the bust as well but i love this like a really lovely fabric a slightly more unusual print and it's just absolutely beautiful especially the movement like so so stunning and just the prettiest summer dress Next up is a repeat purchase and this is a bodysuit that I already own but I wanted it in the next size up because as you can imagine my current bodysuit is getting a little bit small for me, they do go all the way over the bump so I wanted to get a bigger size. These are fantastic, if you've not tried them, I raved about them before but Abercrombie bodysuits are pretty much the building blocks of my wardrobe, they are a really good price even better with a discount code and they just fit so well, they wash well, they wear well and I just love them. Um, my favorite by far is the seamless version um, just because it kind of disappears under clothing, creates that really smooth silhouette and I just can't get enough. Like they're incredibly stretchy and comfortable. Um, the seamless one is double layered as well so it really does smooth over any lumps and bumps. Maybe not baby bumps but normal bumps um, and I just think they're fantastic. So we definitely recommend if you've not checked them out. I just love these to bits and I'm very happy to have one back in my life after my other ones being a little bit small. Next up is my Teresa and they have a new customer offer on at the moment so you can get 10% off your purchase if you're a new customer or if you use a new email address. It's not off absolutely everything um, but there is a landing page where you can see everything included and they have some amazing amazing items included and so two call outs I wanted to make. One the Tory Burch Eleanor is included in the black colour so you have this in the black with the gold and I pretty much never see the Eleanor on sale like even on ToryBurch.com like I just never see it discounted. It seems to be excluded from every single promo code, but the 10% off does work off the Eleanor here. And I also wanted to mention my Jean Vita Rossi heels. I just love these shoes to bits. I really do think that they're worth the money. The block heels are the ones that are included and they have the darker chestnut color. I think they have a blue, a green, a few different shades, but these are fantastic. I wore these to a wedding and I actually brought flats with me because I assumed I wouldn't be able to last all day. And I was absolutely fine by the end of the night through dancing, through standing. You know, at weddings there's always so much standing. And they did amazingly well. Like I did spray them before because it was like an outdoor wedding, so it was a lot of grass. They look absolutely perfect. Like there's no grass stains or anything on them. And I just cannot rave about these shoes enough. So would highly, highly recommend. Um, and obviously with the discount code, they are even better. And then I did get this new coat, which I am so excited about. I've been mean, eyeing up this coat since I think two years ago and I eye it up every single winter but up until now they've only released it in the black and then the camel colour. I've had like black and camel coats I already really love so I couldn't really justify it. And then I saw that they released it in this beautiful blue colour and it's pretty much all I needed and I just think it's beautiful. It really lived up to expectations and like as soon as I put it on I was like oh wow this is really nice. Dan looked over and he was like wow that's a really nice coat like it's cut impeccably it's really really beautiful um, so it is this really lovely kind of sky blue color I always feel like blue is a slightly underrated one when it comes to coats you know especially when it's cold and miserable in the dead of winter it's nice to have a proper color and I feel like blue really does that without being like so crazy out there or overly festive um, so it is like a proper tailored coat you have these beautiful seams all the way down um, and it does button up but it buttons up with a hidden button so you have these two buttons on the inside and then it's actually a wrap coat as well and I don't feel like when you usually get wrap coats they're usually this structured like often a wrap coat is a little bit more relaxed and you just don't get this kind of tailored look and I love the combination of it just being super sharp looking with the ease of a tie 
I think it's beautiful. So I am over the moon. I'm so happy I decided to go for it. I do feel like it's a really classic one. I think the color is absolutely stunning. And I think the fit is just so perfect and beautiful. And then next up, I did get a pair of shoes that I've had my eye on and I definitely did not need these. Um, they are a repeat purchase in a different combination, but as soon as I saw the new release, like I just fell in love with the combo. I feel like these are the new kind of Valentino rock studs in terms of just a really popular statement shoe, one that I absolutely have no self-control with, but they're just so stunning. Um, so I'm super, super excited. They are the Jimmy Choo Bing Heels, and these are in the pale gray in the mock croc. Um, so they have that gray mock croc embossed pattern all over. These are actually a matte leather, um, whereas my other ones are a patent leather. So it is, um, I think, probably maybe a little bit more malleable. And then you have the crystal detail on the strap there, which is so ridiculously sparkly. I feel like it's even more sparkly than my other ones. Um, it just really does catch the light in the most beautiful way. And it is just so stunning. And I love the gray color. It's a really, really pretty neutral. I think it's gonna go really well with my Chanel Jumbo. Um, and I'm just so in love with these. And I do really like mock croc, but I don't like mock croc on absolutely everything, but I feel like it really works with a great combo. I'm glad they didn't make it into a patent leather because I feel like the shine would have maybe made it a bit too much. Um, but I think with the matte leather, I think it's just stunning. I did get my regular size in these, but I do feel like they run a little bit small. Um, I feel like my heel kind of goes right to the edge. I did try all my other ones because I wanted to make sure it wasn't kind of feet bloating or anything like that. And my other ones fit just fine. So I feel like these do run a little bit small, but I don't know if it's so small that I should size half a size up. So I will do a try on clip. Please let me know your thoughts down below. I asked Dan, but he was absolutely no help. Um, I don't know if it's just my head, like, because technically they do fit fine. You know, it's a mule. They're very comfortable. They're all good in terms of my comfort. Um, but I don't know if my heel goes too much to the edge and if half a size up would be better. So please let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm kind of debating it, but apart from the sizing, I am super, super thrilled with them. I think they're just beautiful. These are also included in the 10% off and I am just thrilled to bits of them. I do have a blog post covering this code as well. So I've basically gone through, I don't even know how many pages of what's included in the landing page and picked out my favorite items from the clothes to bags, shoes, accessories, all that kind of good stuff. So I will link that down below if you wanted to check it out. Next up is 24 Sevra and they have gone live with a massive, massive discount code. And this one's for Chinese Valentine's Day and it's a tiered discount, but the tiers are really low in terms of the minimum spend and the discounts are very generous. So it starts off at 15% off and it goes up to 25% off. And that is available site-wide. There are a few exclusions, but there's still lows included. And the minimum spend to hit the 25% off is 500 and that's 500 dollars pounds or euros so it's a really low minimum spend um, usually it's much higher and usually the discount isn't 25% off so it's an amazing amazing deal I do have a huge blog post covering all of my picks there are a lot of my wardrobe favorites included as well as just so many great items from Alexander McQueen sneakers to coach bags Chloe bags are included just so many great items um, so if you wanted to check that out then I will link that down below so I did shop this one myself. The discount code was just way too good to pass up. And I did get a bag that I have been eyeing up. So this is the Coach Tabby and I have been looking at this for a while, but I never pulled the trigger because I thought that the size, which I thought was the size that came in, which is a little bit too big and to be honest, a bit too puffy for my taste, didn't realize it came in this smaller size. And when I saw it, I just thought it was adorable. I wasn't sure about it because I didn't know if it would fit my phone. I tried to measure, but it was very, very close. But but it does fit my phone, which I am very, very happy about. I got it in the nude color with the gold hardware. This is, I think, my first coach bag. Um, I have had wristlets and SLGs, but never an actual bag before. I'm very excited. The leather is absolutely gorgeous, like very, very plush feeling and just absolutely beautiful to the touch. It basically has um, two compartments. So you do have a divider right there in the middle. Probably would have preferred it without the divider, um, but it does still fit in my phone, which I have right here. So it can just fit in. There is a whole ton of room, so if you have a really, really massive phone, maybe it won't work, um, but that does fit in really neatly for me. And then I have that front space, and the front compartment is the slightly bigger one for everything else that I want to pop inside. And then you do have the pocket right there on the back. 
I am so thrilled with this. I think it's absolutely adorable. A really, really cute size as well. And very much up my street in terms of that adorable puffy look. And next up, I did get a Burberry scarf. As you may be able to gather, this one isn't for me. I did get this as a Christmas present for Dan. I know it's really, really early to be thinking about Christmas, but one, I like to plan ahead when there's a really good deal. I did get this one for 25% off. And two, I figured I'm probably going to be pretty busy when it comes to Christmas, so I'm trying to do what I can ahead of time. And again, I just thought this was a great deal. Um, it is a navy one, so just a really beautiful classic scarf. It is 100% cashmere, and then it has that really beautiful rich navy base. It has a white check with that red trim. Just really lovely, really classic. I mean, it doesn't really have a really nice scarf, so I thought this would be perfect. And I just love mine to bits. They've worn so well. Um, he is quite hard on his items, but considering how well mine have done and how much I've worn them, I'm pretty confident in it. Um, and as I said, I thought it was an amazing price. So I did get 25% off, as I mentioned, and they do have other colors in ladies' colors as well. So my pink one is included. They have a new season tan one, just so many great shades and obviously 25% off is absolutely amazing. They do also have Burberry trench coats included as well, and I mentioned the scarves are included, and the whole line is. So, you know, it's not just the scarves, it's the little Burberry bear charms, it's their bags, it's everything. Their trench coats are often included in their discount codes, but the sizes are often sold out, whereas they are fully stocked at the moment in a lot of their styles. So if you're waiting for a good deal on a trench coat, 25% off, I don't think it gets much better than that in terms of Burberry trench coats. So definitely one to check out. And then I did want to mention a few other favorites that are included in the discount code. So the big one here is Kanda Goose. Their entire line is included, and because the items are a bit more expensive, you can get the full 25% off. I believe this is the same discount that goes live in November in terms of the generosity. So I think it wasn't actually Black Friday, that was the most generous one last year. I think it was Singles Day, which also goes up to 25% off. But because it's in the middle of winter, so many sizes are sold out, whereas at the moment, They've just had all their new arrivals in and they are fully stocked with all of the classic styles and 25% off is absolutely amazing. So definitely a good one to check out if you're after a new coat and you're happy to plan ahead. There are some amazing deals. And then I also wanted to mention my Anine Bing blazer. I get so many questions about this blazer and they have restocked and this one is included in the discount code. I bought mine only earlier on in the year, right when it got a little bit warmer, so I've not properly had a chance to use mine yet, but I am so incredibly excited about it. It is absolutely beautiful. It is more of like a proper outerwear piece, like it is a blazer, but it's definitely more of a heavy duty blazer. The quality is beautiful. It is more of an oversized fit, so you can kind of wear it as a coat blazer if you want to and I am just so excited about this and obviously the 25% off makes it much more affordable and then I do also have my chunky white knit here as well this is another one that I got last year and I just absolutely love it it is the perfect perfect chunky sweater they bring this back year after year because it's one of their classic styles and I totally see why like it is just so gorgeous and comfortable to wear and just exactly the thing that you want to wear when it is really cold outside it is incredibly warm it comes in camel as well which I also own it's just a fantastic sweater like it has just the right amount of width definitely oversized but I don't find it to be unflattering at all and I just think it's an absolute dream um so I love mine I definitely think it's worth a splurge I think I actually paid full price for mine um but I was happy to do so because I loved it so much um but if you can get 25% off or even 20% off even better and I think this is just such a lovely one and then finally, the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. So this one ends tomorrow night. I do have a blog post with some pics, but also some items from my long lost order. I now currently have two out of my three boxes. The third box is still missing. It was the smallest box. I'm still quite upset because some of my favorite items were included in that, but I'm very, very happy that my second box got found and delivered to me. So I did get a few new pieces in. So first up is my one dot state blouse, which I am so excited about. I was so sad at the thought of losing it. I actually had it in my basket ready to buy again because I really wanted another one. So very, very happy they found it. My one is in the plum color. I'd say it does fit a little bit different from my original yellow one. I think it's a little bit lower cut, nothing too crazy revealing, um, but it definitely does fit slightly differently. That said, it's still absolutely lovely. I love the little cuff sleeves and I think this color is just beautiful. And then the next item is my Rebecca Taylor top. And I was particularly sad about this one because one, I love Rebecca Taylor, and two, it was a really pricey one and I wasn't sure if I was gonna buy this one again. So very, very happy that I found it. 
it is so pretty like the most stunning thing it has this beautiful print detail all the way throughout so it has this kind of chiffon -y top layer it is fully lined and it has a lilac base and this beautiful poppy print which is like a pale white um with a it's kind of like an indigo purple slash navy print with an olive green it's really lovely the fit is beautiful it's definitely not supposed to flare out as much as it does but keep in mind there is a baby bump happening right now and um, so it is supposed to go straight down usually it has these beautiful cuff sleeves and i'm just over the moon about this particularly because i thought it was lost to me forever but yeah absolutely love this it was definitely worth the wait and i'm just so happy they found it and then last but not least, I got my beautiful Max Mara dress. So this looks like an absolute potato sack right here, but it does come with a tie, which makes all the difference. So I will show it with the tie, but it's beautiful. It's this really lovely and um, flowy pleated dress. It is a high neck one. Um, so I think it would look beautiful with a drop pendant necklace. And then it just kind of drapes down very, very lovely and flowy. Like it's very comfortable to wear. And then you do have that tie, which you just tie in the waist. Obviously you can go for your natural waist, baby bump you do it just above the waist as I'm planning on doing. But I thought this was great, particularly happy with it because I think I'm gonna have a lot of room to grow as well because it is a loose fitting one. But at the same time, as soon as you pop that tie on, I think it just transforms it and makes it look so elegant. Really cute with sandals if you just wanted to dress it down or wear a bit more casually. But at the same time, I think it looks beautiful with a pair of heels. You can really dress it up as well. Just one of those really lovely like go anywhere dresses. And the fabric and the quality just seems lovely. One really weird thing though is that it does have little holes for the tie but it feels like the hole should be a loop rather than a hole. So I'm not really sure why they did that unless they intend for you to kind of loop the back on the inside. Um, so I'm essentially just ignoring those. It's just really, really strange unless I'm just not getting it. Um, but yeah, I'm just planning on tying mine on the outside. But apart from that, I'm very happy with it. I think it's just beautiful and very, very elegant. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. As usual I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below. I'll also include any discount codes as well. If you have any questions for me then leave me a comment and as always thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys! I don't know how, oh how you do it. You blow my mind without a word.